Welcome back to Dr. Schneider Plays Guild of Dungeoneering. And we're still on this level. We use the Bruiser, which I, was, I think I was calling Brawler last time. That's fine. It's all the same, really. If this is a negative fountain, we're screwed. Oh, unblockable attacks gain uh, magic damage. Sweet. Oh, fire imp. Okay, we should annihilate the spider in every conceivable fashion. Like, so spiky. Oh, you got me. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, similarly, there's nothing you can do about this. to get Restore, but I also like the Holy Seal because we get to deal damage and heal. This is absolutely excellent. I would have liked to place that other dungeon tile down, but... If we don't spend one of our cards slowing that down, it'll be upon us in no time. I think I'll double down on that. So this is the big test. If we can't beat the Mimic, then we're just toast. What a great opportunity. What another great opportunity. Oh, well, you got me there. I can't block it fully, so I won't get spiky, but I can kill it. Plus one restore is tempting. I think we go with the skull cap, because it gives us more blocks, even though it takes away our heal. The Bandito is really strong, but if we can beat it, we'll be level 4. And we didn't get a block, which is really going to hurt us. Uh, having said that, Counter was an amazing get. Uh, we just have to block some of it, and deal with the rest. We might be able to out-DPS him. It all depends on this next draw. Which we handled, exquisitely. The Winged Staff. Scimitar. So, 2 damage, or 3 damage versus unblockable, and then 2 damage. Or, we get lots of blocking. I think we'll take the staff. 
so we can block. I just love to get some loot. I also love to partake of that fountain, because that is a guaranteed clairvoyance, I believe. I think we just take our card draw off this. Um, might as well throw our unblockable out since our blocks are more valuable. It's a little bit of a goofy trade, but smite works in our favor. And once again, I just love this class. They're a great dungeoneer. Um, I don't want to lose what we have, so I guess we take this. Just for some more versatility. I think we just passed the turn. And we'll meet precisely where we need to. Because if we have predictable for the fight... So it's going to move to here, and we're going to move to here. That's going to move to here, and we're going to move to here, and then we're going to fight. So it works out perfectly. You what, mate? Probably won't get that other gem, but it's kind of beside the point. I could probably make a route back around and then delay the boss long enough to get there. But I actually just destroyed the gem, so bugger it. Alright, boss time. So it's brittle and predictable. I think we go for our magic damage and the extra draw, even though it costs us a bit right now. I think that was definitely for the best. I'm going to focus primarily on blocking. We have an unblockable coming up, that's when we'll pop our heal. Another unblockable. But we'll survive it quite easily. Alright, and that's the Mimic Queen finally dead. We actually got to level 5. Which is amazing. Who would have thought the way you fought you'd be so very brave? Now we need somebody else to fill this empty grave. Okay, so gullible makes one of our loots worse every time, but we get more gold from each treasure from now on with Lily. It's not so bad. Also, we gained a ton of gold from that. We might even be able to buy the last tier 1 rooms. 
that we don't have. So let's do just that. Fixtures favor. Tiles from the warrior. And finally, the hug in a bottle. Splendid. So now we have all the tier one stuff. Should have time for one more. Defeat a skeleton. Sure. I'm going to keep using Crohn's, it's my favorite one. So we're guaranteed to have a skeleton. I'm going to try to avoid garbage rooms. Like, what's this? Monster gains conceal next fight, which is horrendous. The hero gains decay. Which is also awful. Well, let's put this here and see if it rolls into a good one. Fountain of Knowledge. Since it rolled good, I'll put the next piece there. Um, the Fire Imp has stupidity, so some turns it'll just do nothing. Oops, it's with an unblockable, but we have that covered. Follows of this so totally blockable. Well, you got me. Fiery weapon's pretty strong. There's our opening. And just like the best of luck. Soldier's Helmet, Pigeon's Nest. This one gives us our best buff. And it looks hilarious. So I guess we want this corridor next. Maybe slap one of those down. Fountain of Clairvoyance is awesome. And a knoll. So what I'm hoping we can do is not only have a ridiculous number of cards, but I want to pop the fountain that makes us blind. And then see if I can bait our character into fighting a weak enemy. This is going to do three damage. So I'm just going to take a heal. gives us another block. That's an attack. And those are attacks. Always go for the blocks on the bruiser. Scorpion. Scorpion's tough. So ideally, I want to do this turn. I guess we can just throw a skeleton down too. I should have just thrown a skeleton down. Anyway, it's a mistake that might cost us the run. Aside from that, no big deal. Scorpions are very defensive. 
it seems. So it's a, it's a battle of the bruisers. I think we just go hard in this attack. Uh, unblockable means heal. Might as well answer with our own. It's not really strong. The heater shield. That gives us a lot of good stuff. That also gives us good stuff. And I'd rather have Bash. Let's take the shield. We do not detour to that skeleton, which makes me a little bit mad. Maybe we can get a gem and a spider next turn. Well, I definitely don't want that. I'm going to buy a turn by pulling our Dungeoneer back. Wow, all of these are awful. I get a good fountain over here. Fountain of Knowledge. Not tempting enough. We're going to fight a Skeleton Blind. Pretty, it's predictable, but concealed, so I can see its next card, but not its current card. This, this is one magic damage. Can't do anything about it. Next up is two physical. So then we have one magical, block one physical. One magic, one life gain. One physical. Not so bad. Well, this is really just quite surprising. Aren't dungeoneers just cannon fodder? But against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. Why even bother? Thank you, went off the tune there, Bard. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, there's nothing more we can buy, so I will catch you next time. Bye now.